Hey guys. <laughs> 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 this is gonna this is gonna take a while. <laughs> Not that original, but I hope you stay anyway with me. Um, hey guys, back at it again. <laughs> So today we have another what I learned this week video. This time I'm going to show you guys how to thrift shop properly and we have a special guest. Hi guys. This is Christine Foley, high school friend and best friend and just general awesome person. Oh. Oh. So if you cute. don't know her, some of you probably, most of you know her. She's famous. Don't you know? Oh. Don't you know? Anyway, I think it's really good to go thrift shopping is that when you go into a store, there are clothes that designers have made for what they think people will wear. But when you go to a thrift store, these are clothes that people have worn and they've liked. That it actually fits a human person, unlike some clothes in department stores where it's like, they just kind of made it and it's like, oh, that doesn't fit anybody except for like two types of people. So, you know, this stuff, like somebody wore it and somebody liked it. Hey, Christine. Hey. Hey. So. Um, what have been your, have, do you like thrift shopping? Yeah, I haven't, I don't go a ton though, so I'm kind of excited. Be fun. <laughs> also, another reason to go thrift shopping is it's fun to do with friends. Yeah, yes. yes. After, oh, before you go thrift shopping, very, very important, most important thing, most important thing is to get coffee and, and or tea. It's just, like, we're millennials, so like, are you surprised? Like no. We like our we like our we like our Starbucks. Okay, <laughs> nothing wrong. So I have a few tips and tricks for thrift shopping. First, pre-shopping is finding the right store for you. Now I was given this advice by a football coach who's teaching me personal finance. Shout out to Coach Rhett, if any of y'all know this. He told me, ironically, he's an older guy, but he was the one who gave me this advice. Go some. Go to the nice parts of town to go thrift shopping. So we are in Scottsdale. We are. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so like people who have good fashion and like neighborhoods where there's good fashion going on give away their really good clothes to thrift shops. There are a few different types of thrift stores. There's chains, there are places like Goodwill and Salvation Army, and then there are independent thrift stores. Chains are really good because you usually know the quality that you're gonna get no matter which store you go to. And also they usually have some sort of reward system, so I get deals on stuff when I go to the chain thrift stores. Um, Goodwill, Salvation Army, those type of ones, they're really great for like costumes, I think and for like lower quality because usually when I go into Goodwill I think it looks like my sister's closet from like 2008. Yeah. 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 Like yeah. her prom, her old prom dresses, the random stuff she wore. Yeah. And also like the knickknacks. It's just, it's so yeah. fun. Yeah. I've gotten so many badly designed coffee mugs from Goodwills just like ironically because I think it's really funny. Okay, and then the last type of thrift store is independent. Now these, I don't actually usually go to independent. If I'm in a new area, I'll look up a thrift store and if it's an independent one, sometimes they'll advertise as a thrift store, but they'll really be a consignment shop. Yeah. The difference between, yeah, and if you don't know the difference, thrift store is they buy back used stuff or they either buy or get donated use stuff and they sell it for cheaper consignment they sell it for more expensive so like buffalo exchange i would say is more Some, of it's more of a consignment it's more of a yeah, consignment cost a little more yeah usually yeah. consignment stores cost more than like even department stores independent thrift stores are kind of like it's a mixed bag on what it's actually gonna be once you get in there and oftentimes thrift stores can be advertised as like it can be a furniture store sometimes, it can be a clothes shop. Right now we're focusing on clothes because that's what I do. That's how I, yes. Tip number two before you go into a thrift store is to set a budget. Thrift stores are great because you can get <laughs> good items. <laughs> sorry. What do you say? To, it's like, I need to do that. <laughs> no. In thrift stores you can get more items for cheaper so it's great but it's still like any shopping trip it's still important to set a budget so that you know however 
you should be flexible with budgets to a certain degree. Pieces like jackets or pants are usually closer to $20, whereas other pieces in stores are like $5, $10 range. And so it's important to set a budget, but still be flexible, because you might walk in and you're like, oh my gosh, that's the exact jacket. Or it's something that you're like, this will work perfectly in my wardrobe and it's gonna be so much cheaper than if you get another thrift store. So it's just important to have a budget, but like be a little flexible. Third tip <laughs> is to set goals before you walk in about what you wanna get. There are two different methods I use when I walk into a thrift store. I am either going to find one key item or two certain things that you need, or I'm just going for fun and I just wanna pick up a fun t-shirt or just something fun to add in. So those are two different things. So we have a plan today using those guidelines. We are going into a chain thrift store that I know is reliable, that I've been to multiple locations. We have a budget. I have $20, $20, $25 is what I'm gonna give myself as a budget. And my goal today is to find a casual but nice jacket. I'm going to a wedding in Texas this weekend and I want something that's like relatively sleek, neutral color that looks nice-ish. Ready? Yeah, let's go! Let's go! Yay. Down, down, <laughs> we got option number one, Star Wars type vibes, you know? So we got this item in the men's section. I grabbed it because I thought it looked like um, something that Hugh Grant would wear in a 90s like rom-com. Okay, so here's our, what is it? third option. Mm -hmm. So I think this one is the best one so far. Mm -hmm. It is right up my style, yeah, like right it. up my alley style wise. I have, this would be my third bomber like inspired jacket. Okay, option four. So this one has a really cool fit. I think it's, what do we like about this? I don't know. I like the, I like the way it fits. Yeah. Like it moves. It has like, it's fluid. It's also, we decided we really like this. Outfit. We like this. Like, we. I think. I think she looks a little bit like, um, like a singer in the 2000s that like sings Carol King songs. You know what I mean? You got me. Also, ready for this? Ready? It's got pockets. <laughs> I got my keys. <laughs> and now, like the light isn't. It's fine. Okay, here we are. We did it. So I ended up getting the leather jacket. So the things to remember, knowing where to pick your store, having a budget, setting goals, making sure the item fits, and then washing afterwards. Five steps to a successful thrift store shopping spree. Yeah! <laughs> okay, so that's all we have for you this week. Thank you for coming along with us on our shopping spree. Thank you for Christine for joining me. Yeah, of course. See you next time. I hope you had a lovely time.